up you guys Marty Schwartz here guitarjams.com gonna give you a little solo technique it's kind of a concept it's a really cool little thing to think about that you can throw into your minor pentatonic scale to add a, a different flavor I'm gonna zoom in and show it to you so that's coming right up but also I have my guitar coaching club uh, that I'm opening up again which is every single guitar jams product I've ever made I'm gonna pick one person from this video to win it for free. All you have to do is leave a comment and I'm gonna pick one of you out there to win it. And you can also check out what's in that package by uh, clicking that link below there. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we'll zoom in and I'm gonna show you this little technique. So here we go. All right, this is a little more intermediate style lesson. It's not really licks, it's more of a cool concept. The jam I was doing there was uh, just a D minor style groove, a little loop that I created with my Boss RC3. So it's basically like a, a D minor thing. So it'd be good to know at least your D minor pentatonic scale, uh, their extensions like the root on the E extension. minor, uh, or I'm sorry, the D minor pentatonic with the root on the A string, fifth fret right there. And then the extensions for that one. Obviously it's a good idea to know the D minor pentatonic inside and out, up and down the whole neck. Um, but I, for the way I learned it was from those extensions first, and then I started to fill in the gaps and, and then also learn them as individual positions. Okay, however much of that you know, that's a great start. Turn this down a little bit for, for soloing over a D minor kind of progression. Anyway, the minor pentatonic, whole time, practicing, over and over, you'll get better. There's so many different uh, ways to do that that I've taught. But here is a really cool concept. Take, Let's find the roots everywhere. We're in D minor, so we've got one right here. Fifth fret on the A string, we got the open D string. That. We've got the seventh fret on the G string. We got the third fret on the B string. Got me? We got the tenth fret on the high E or the low E. And then we've got the twelfth fret on the D again. And then we got the fifteenth on the B. And we'll just start with those, right? So you got your minor pentatonics everywhere, blah, blah, blah. And you kind of know where your roots are. You can always, and this is great in a minor setting, but it'll work in a blues setting as well, is wherever the, that root is, you can do this little cadence uh, a whole step higher. So if that's the root, you can always do this kind of phrase, a whole step higher with a half step bend. Not a whole step bend, which is much more major sounding, just a half step little nudge, back down natural to the root. So every spot I talked about where the root was, we did that little lick. Within the 
context of all your minor pentatonic, you add a really nice flavor. And we like flavor, you know? We don't want bland, we want flavor. So uh, watch, I'm gonna put that loop back on. I'm gonna play just a minor pentatonic scale with that little cadence, and I'm just gonna start in the main position here. I did there so I was pretty much thinking straight up D minor pentatonic scale but any of those root spots I saw I knew I could at least and so I was doing it with a half step bend but you could also do it with a half step slide thing you could do is just instead of not you know that little bend you could always add play the regular minor pentatonic as you saw me doing like, and then going into it you can always mix and match them um, which is really cool and then another thing is just replacing that note altogether with that note but still playing the minor pentatonic scale and you can do this uh, with some other notes in the scale as well but it would look like this So you've got this notes used a lot in the turnaround of a blues like Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, classic kind of lick my tidbit hopefully that helps you it definitely adds a unique element to the minor pentatonic scale and as you progress in your guitar journey you'll see there's lots of little tricks like that that you can uh, alter things that you you know already know so 
maybe that'll give you some uh, little food for thought there. All right, hope you had fun with that. Uh, remember, you can win my guitar coaching club bundle by leaving a comment. I'm going to pick one person. It's right down there. The link, you can see what it is. Anyway, thanks for the support, and we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.